and welcome to this product feature demonstration on Nolan's Advanced Bank Reconciliation for NetSuite. Uh, today we're going to be going over matching multiple transactions, both one-to-one -one and one-to-many. And we're also going to be having a look at uh, taking advantage of the advanced filters offered by um, the side-by-side -side reconciliation window in Nolan ABR. So if we go ahead and we hop out of the keynote and we'll just jump into our demo environment, uh, we'll start we'll start it off. So we've loaded into our side-by-side -side reconcile window and notice that our particular um, reconciliation accounts nominated as well as our start date. We've also got our filter section down here which we'll come on to in a moment and at the moment we're just looking at unmatched transactions. Now, notice that we've got a load of uh, scattered match transactions here uh, in varying amount, but they can be categorized uh, primarily into two different categories. So payment by Visa and Amex payment. So notice over on the bank side as well that we've got two batch payments come in on the bank. So uh, a reference Amex daily and then a Visa batch payment as well. So two batch payments. And this is where you can actually use one-to-many matching and uh, advanced filters to your advantage when you need to match uh, one-to-many uh, matches quite quickly and effectively. So what we're going to do is to try and uh, match these uh, quickly. We're going to try and only view uh, options that contain the word Visa and the memo field on this side and the same on the bank side as well. So to do that, it's fairly easy. All we need to do is uh, hop up and say set up a filter and we can see how a filters uh, function is structured. So you can filter on each side of the reconciliation window independently. So you can set a criteria for the filter based on the general ledger side, which is the left hand side, and also on the bank statement side as well. So what we're going to do is note that we've got the word visa in our memo field. We're going to go ahead and say that the memo contains visa, uh, visa. and on the bank side as well, we're going to say that the statement reference contains visa. So there's a couple of options we can do. Notice that we can uh, override uh, the preference for the search as well, or the preference for criteria. So we can see that it, so we can set it so that it either contains uh, contains the uh, search, uh, it is the value, uh, it starts with a value, or does not start with a value. So obviously loads of flexibility there. Notice that we can also search on a number of different things, such as transaction dates, uh, transaction types, entity name, transaction numbers, uh, amounts and also match numbers for those transactions that are already being matched together. Now what we're going to do is, now that we've entered uh, that we want to only refine uh, the windows on either side to show results which contain Visa in the memo field and the reference field, we're just going to select apply filter and it's going to restrict the view of the transactions that we can see. So notice that this is limited our Visa transactions to five transactions and uh, our only one transaction on the bank payment. Now there's a number of ways we can match this so we can go ahead and we can select all of our uh, particular general ledger transactions and we can see these add up to the total selected um, on each side. Alternatively what we could do is we could just go ahead from here and say marked all and then uh, mark all and in this instance all the transactions that we've posted on NetSuite actually equal the, equal the full batch payment that's come in from our, uh, from our Visa batch payment. And we can tell that here because it's processed £75 and £75. To go ahead and match this with a one-to-many match, uh, all you have to do is click match. To review this, what we can do is we can just go ahead and uh, clear off our filter and go ahead and look in our match transactions. We'll notice that uh, a single match number has been assigned to our batch payment on our bank statement for the £75 of 35 and we've got five identic, uh, identical uh, match numbers associated with each of the uh, general ledger transaction as well. So all of this side, uh, all of the matches on this side add up to the match on, uh, all of the matches on the general ledger side add up to the matches on the bank statement side. If we head back to uh, unmatched, what we'll notice is that uh, we've got uh, three payments outstanding. So one thing to consider is uh, matching uh, transactions uh, if they don't wait. 
So for example, here, we've only selected 120 uh, uh, pounds of value on the general ledger side, and we're trying to match it to a, a batch payment of 135 pounds. If we go ahead and try and process a match there, ABR will actually warn us that um, the marked transactions do not reconcile because they do not equal one another. So if we go ahead and we equal that out, meaning that we uh, have £135 worth of uh, match transactions on the general ledger side and also £135 transaction on the bank side, go ahead and click match, it'll allow us to process that through. So that's given you a really good overview of how we can utilize both filters and one-to-many matching in uh, the ABR reconcile statement window. If you have any more questions, I'd like to invite you to uh, email sales at nolanbusinesssolutions.com. Uh, give us a call on 01252 811 663 or visit nolanbusinesssolutions.com for more details on the product. Thanks very much.